I'm sure this is exactly the way the tailor looked before they put all the makeup on her. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. Uh, I don't usually come onto my channel looking like this, <laughs> you know, with the hair all like this, but I'm channeling my inner Taylor Swift. You Need to Calm Down music video has just come out and I really love the initial look that she came out with in the caravan where it was like bright blue eyeshadow, bright red lips. You don't usually see that these days. Uh, but it very much screamed like bold summer colours to me and I really wanted to recreate it. This is a very impromptu video, literally I've just got home from work. I saw the music video yesterday and I know I wanted to recreate it so this is a very last minute video. So it's probably going to be up a little late so sorry about that but I just really wanted to do this. So today I'm going to be doing this look right here. So that is why I've come to you with a, well it's not a robe, it's actually like a jacket <laughs> and a red bralette thingy but I don't want to, you know, show you because then I might get flagged, I don't know. <laughs> and then also rollers in the front of my hair because I'm going to be bothered to do all of it. Uh, maybe I should just stick to makeup. Um, I do just want to say I'm a fake fan. <laughs> I don't really like Taylor Swift's music. I like some of her things. I really love the song Delicate by her. Like that's one of my favorites. And I do really like this new song. But mostly I like the makeup. <laughs> and the music video obviously is about gay pride and gay celebration. And the song just has a good message to it. Also she's doing like a fundraiser for equal rights and things like that. So I'll leave that in the description down below if you're interested. I think it's more based in America. But if you want to give anything I'll put it in the description box down below. With my makeup recreations I try to make it as affordable as possible so we're using affordable products today. If you're just now stopping on my channel, hi, hello, how are you? If you like content like this and you like recreations, makeup, all that kind of stuff then please hit the subscribe button down below, it's the big red button and also if you hit the bell next to it you'll get notified of when I upload. And yeah I'm gonna start off with the eyes because uh, blue is not forgiven if you get fallout. <laughs> so let's zoom you guys right on in. Okay so I'm gonna be using the Take Me Back to Brazil palette which is by BH Cosmetics. This has loads of different colours in it. We're gonna be sticking to these kind of colours today obviously. A good palette to also use would be like the NYX Brights palette because that has a lot of these colours in it as well. For my eye base I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 0 0.5 just to save and add in an eyeshadow base. So the first colour I'm gonna go into is actually this blue. Whoa I picked up on the brush real quick. <laughs> I haven't used the blues from this palette yet so I'm hoping this is gonna work out. This is literally just me playing with makeup and uh, seeing if I can recreate the look. So fingers crossed everybody. <laughs> I'm literally just going to take the blue and start patting it on to the outer corner and through the crease. I will just say the makeup in this doesn't look like super pretty and blended. It's just kind of like kind of like one eyeshadow all over the lid it just looks like. The only reference I have is a photo of her from the music video. So obviously I don't have any up close or specific products or anything like that. So I'm just going off the music video itself. <laughs> the brush that I'm using by the way is the Morphe R39. It's like a big fluffy tapered blender. She has this blue like all the way into her inner corners, pretty much like all around the eye. I'm just literally gonna start packing this over the lid as well. And the reason I'm using this like fluffy blender is so the pigment isn't too dense because it does look like a very soft blue. It doesn't look too winged out either so I'm kind of rounding off the shape but I'm gonna blend it out. I've just wiped off my brush and I'm gonna use the white in the palette and I am literally just gonna go over the edges to blend out the blue with the white. I'm just gonna use like circular motions to pull it out. Just going in with a little bit more of that blue and I'm just gonna blend it. Bringing it into that inner corner. I'm gonna take a little bit more of this greenish blue. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it but I'm hoping that's not really gonna show up <laughs> and I'm just gonna blend the blue a little bit more into this okay you can kind of see it but it's fine <laughs> that is pretty much <laughs> like it for the top of the eyeshadow to be honest she does have a flicked liner which I'm gonna do it's quite extended so I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna tight line with this Kiko jelly jungle pencil in 04 it's just a black eyeliner pencil so just quickly tight line and then I'm gonna use the NYX epic incliner to do a wing this had started bleeding on me so I'm hoping it's not gonna do that today fingers crossed It 
has bled on me a little bit through the crease, which is so annoying. Let me clean it up in a second. Looking at it, I feel like she might have a little bit of shimmer in the center, but very slight. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that greenish color that I put throughout the crease, and I'm just gonna pop it right in the center here. You know, I'm just now noticing that white color is actually a highlight. <laughs> It's not the trick though, it's not too shimmery, so it has a bit of like a gold reflect, but I'm gonna quickly do the shadow on the other eye and the liner and then I'll be right back. Oh hey, so I'm back. <laughs> I tried to kind of like clean up the wing with concealer and then go over it. It didn't quite work, but it looks a little bit better. I was looking at the images of Taylor and her wing it doesn't look completely black. So I decided to go over it with like a navy kind of eyeshadow. You probably can't really tell. <laughs> but I'm gonna go over with this blue from the BH Cosmetics palette and I'm just going on an angled brush and I'm just pressing over the black eyeliner. Also that helps you kind of fix your mistakes. <laughs> just kind of ties it in with the blue so I really like adding that color over top don't know if it was done but uh, I don't know it just looks pretty so we're gonna finish off the eyes in a little bit but we want to do my face now so let's zoom you out a little bit I look literally insane like I could pass for Mrs. Doubtfire right now <laughs> so her skin doesn't look like overly dewy overly matte it just kind of looks natural so that's what we're going for I'm gonna use the Revolution Super Fruit Extract Primer I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on I did not wipe away any fallout, so let's hope that there wasn't a lot. Just because I went to the news radio and just think about it. Maybe I'll be coming over again. I'll have to get over. Also, Katy Perry and Taylor Swift friends again. Yay! And I can't get Katy Perry's new song out of my head. <laughs> I'm gonna do my concealer first, just to switch things up, you know? I feel like I use less foundation when I do my concealer first, so just going in and blending it in. I look literally crazy i swear i'm gonna look good at the end of it okay well i can i can hope <laughs> For foundation, I'm going to wear the L'Oreal Fresh Wear. It is a teeny bit too dark for me and I really should lighten it with something, but the only lighter foundation I really have is Fenty or Hourglass, so I'm not going to mix that in. We can keep it affordable, so, you know, vacation guys, I look orange for you, okay? <laughs> I'm taking this on a stippling brush because I really want to put like a light layer on. I don't want to go crazy with foundation. Again, she looks like very natural. She's got flawless skin. So she's gonna look flawless anyway. You know what I mean? If you wanna like spot conceal any like darker spots or anything, you go ahead, but I'm not that bold. <laughs> I do love this foundation though. It just makes your skin look very natural. Gives a decent amount of coverage as well. And I can just kind of like slap it on. I'm not thinking about it too much, like, you know. I'm also gonna take this like down my neck and chest so it kind of match a little bit better. <laughs> I'm gonna put a tiny bit more concealer underneath my eyes in the darkest kind of area. I'm just gonna let the coverage build up a little bit. While I leave it there, I'm gonna set my face with the Kiko powder. This is the Radiant Fusion Baked Powder in the shade one. This kind of has like a natural radiant finish to it. And I like this powder as well. It's real good. I almost like completely forgot to put any foundation on my forehead. <laughs> just quickly blend the concealer out. I'm just gonna use the same Kiko powder to set my under eyes as well. Now she doesn't look crazy bronzed or blushed or anything really, but I am gonna go up with a little summon. So I'm gonna go in with the MUA Baked Bronzer. This is in the shade Zola 100. It's a pretty hard pressed powder so you don't get like a lot of color. So it's gonna be really nice and soft. Pull it backwards towards the hairline so you don't have a lot of color going on. My face has like zero dimension to it so you know, I gotta try and chisel just like a little bit, if you know what I mean. Otherwise, I look like a moon. I'm gonna on like the high points and kind of on the cheeks. Do a little bit on the jawbone as well. I'm gonna bring a little bit down the nose as well, just cause why not? I'm gonna add like a touch of blush. I'm actually gonna use a color from this palette cause why not, I have it here. <laughs> I'm gonna tap into this very top pinky shade and then just like tap off a lot of the excess on the back of my hand. I want a very bright pink, but she does look a little bit rosy. So I'm just gonna add this onto the cheeks just a little. It kind of has like a little bit of a sheen as well. So it's gonna look kind of lifelike, you know? You can use eyeshadows as blush, okay? You can use blush as eyeshadow. The world is your oyster and you make your own makeup rules. Okay, that is the kind of thing that I was going for. So that is perfect. I'm keeping it on like the high point, right at the top of the apples and then blending it into the bronzer. And if you feel like you've gone overboard, just take your powder brush and just tap over. Oh, 
so my camera just fell down as I was looking for my highlighter. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Soph X Makeup Revolution one and I'm gonna use my clearly most favourite shade from it which is this one by here and I'm gonna mix it in with a little bit of the gold one. I'm gonna take a small fluffy brush with this just dabbling in between the two and I'm gonna concentrate this really on the high point because she does not look like she's wearing highlighter pretty much at all I say and then it's just like beaming there. We're gonna up do it a little bit okay I'm gonna dust off some of the powder here and kind of like spread out what's already on my face <laughs> to kind of like dull it down a little bit I'm just gonna go over with my powder she doesn't really look like she's got any other highlight anywhere else really apart from maybe like by here on the forehead there's a little bit of something going on there so uh, I guess we're just gonna do that too <laughs> to kind of like pushing it into the brow so it blends quite nicely again subduing with powder brush <laughs> you know what? I've just decided I'm gonna put a little bit of the gold just in the brow bone. I'm just gonna finish off the eyes real quick. I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Pro Supreme Pigment Gel Eyeliner in the shade Blue, because the blue is also on the lash line. I've never worn this much blue eyeshadow in my life. I'm just gonna go back into the palette, taking the blue that I've used all over the lid, and I'm just going over that liner to lighten it up a little, and then blending it out with a blending brush, and uh, that is pretty much the eyes apart from mascara done. I'm just gonna quickly set my face with the Revolution Pro Supreme Hold Finishing Spray. I don't know where my fan is. <laughs> By the way, the lighting's changing because it's getting dark outside, so I'm looking a little bit more orange now, which is just great. I'm just gonna add my mascara, which is the Makeup Revolution, the mascara. I'm just gonna add a little bit to the bottom lash line as well. I will be adding lashes in a little bit, but I'm just gonna leave it my mascara dry. Her brows look pretty basic. I'm gonna use a Collection Clear Brow Gel, and I'm just gonna quickly brush them up. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like this brow gel, but it's the only clear one I've got right now. I could even recommend using the soap trick <laughs> instead of this. It doesn't really do a lot to your brows. I'm just using what I got, man. My brows need waxing again. I just can't keep up, man, it's just, too much maintenance. <laughs> I'm also gonna use this Revolution Pro Skinny Brow Pencil and I'm just gonna kind of underline them just a little bit. This is in the shade Taupe, I believe, or Soft Brown. I just want like a little bit more definition. So though there's not a lot going on, her brows are a lot more tame than mine. This shade is actually a little bit light for me, but her brows are very light, so I can get away with it for this look. And also you do not want your brows to be too bold, especially with this look right here, because everything is bold with this. Okay, so that is pretty much it. It's just the lip. So this is by NYX, it's the Soft Matte Lip Cream and this is in the shade Morocco and it's a fire orangey base red which she's wearing in the video so let's get this baby on. I also don't have a red lip liner. I just gotta be careful and kinda like draw the lines out with this. Also this is drying out so that's great. <laughs> She does have a great Cupid's bow, Taylor Swift. I'm gonna try and make mine a little bit more pointier. I mean, I'm not trying to look like Taylor Swift. I'm just trying to, you know, try the makeup, that's all. <laughs> oh, that looks great. <laughs> it didn't really work, and now I look a little bit crazy. <sighs> Is this the look? <laughs> Am I finished? <laughs> I don't feel like I'm finished. I'm gonna put on some lashes real quick. I'm gonna put on Dolby Beauty Hannah and we'll see what it looks like. <laughs> Be right back. I look like your crazy aunt. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. I'm trying to get my uh, hair in frame so I don't look like a crazy person, even though I pretty much do. I look like your crazy aunt, uh, but I'm kind of living for it. Very bright, very colorful, very summery. I think I did an okay job. I tried to make it as affordable as possible. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you like the makeup and you enjoyed this video, then please leave a thumbs up so I know. And if you're new, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. This is just a place for us to have fun. Clearly, I don't take myself too seriously. <laughs> Let me know, would you wear something like this? Leave it in the comments down below. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for my Taylor Swift cameo. Uh, I'm gonna now love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world, and I hope you tune in for the next one. Till then, bye guys. And also, she, she, and also if you click the bell next to it, you get the little Look at that ringlet, that's so cool.